Hey guys, Nick here with another episode of 9to5 Crypto, and there are some big changes come to your Gala node, and you need to be prepared for them because as of January 18th, and just a handful of days, your node's rewards are going to be gone. What the hell is this? But fret not, they're not gonna be gone permanently, you just need to process an update for your node. So if you're running your node on Amazon Web Services via VPS, like on LightSail, for example, I have a tutorial today that I wanted to show you. I'm going to keep it light, tight, and bright, but there's also some resources I'm going to hand you off in case you're running it internally on Windows, or if you're running on Linux, or whatever kind of setup you have, they have a solution for all those, and I'm going to direct you to additional tutorials as well. But again, this tutorial is going to revolve around running it through VPS on Amazon Web Services via LightSail. So if that's your kind of configuration and setup, this tutorial should should show you directly how to do it. You should be able to follow along step by step. So guys, let's get to it. And for the first step, you're actually going to want to put in node.gallic.games forward slash. Okay, that's going to navigate you to the Gallic Games node dashboard where we'll be making all these changes. It's not going to load you in immediately like this. This is what it will look like, but it's first going to make you authenticate. And it is going to open up a window for you. And this is going to be a portal to log in. And you're going to log in using your login credentials for your Gallic Games account. And then you're also going to have to prove you're not a robot because we're not bots, I swear. And once you've logged in and proved you're not a robot or Terminator sent from the future to destroy humankind, you can actually then see your node version. And if you're running anything that's predated from 3.1.2, anything beforehand of that, you're, you need to upgrade and upgrade your node fast. Then you'll make your way to the downloads tab. This shows three different uh, operating system setups that shows the initial setup. So if you're setting up for the first time, it shows you some steps on how to, but since it's a guide for previous node setups and and you're just looking to update your server, you want to go down over to the Linux tab, install the Gala Node software v3 on Ubuntu Linux. Okay, if I'm even saying that right. But this is our server setup via Amazon Web Services Light Sale. Okay, if you're doing this through another cloud computing software service, this should be similar, very similar in nature, even if you're not using Amazon's Light Sale. But you want to be making sure that you are using a Linux Ubuntu server. And if you are using that, we're going to click that down here. And that's going to take us to this linked guide that is super helpful. And I will have a direct link for this guide as well. And I'll try to break out the other ones in case you have a different configuration. So you have that direct link down in the comments below as well. All right, for the first step, we simply just want to navigate over to our terminal and open it up. This is through LightSail. Again, this guide is around this, so I'm going to click the connect button on the server or instance I want to open up. And once it's open and it's loaded everything, you will then want to start with the first line highlighted here. And to simply just copy and then paste over and just do this all by clicking because copy you know control c and v kind of screw things up and then hit the enter key and you should have a little bit more that loads here i had to try this a couple times because it kind of bugged out on me and sometimes if you have to just click out uh, exit out of it restart it etc reconnect and just restart the process sometimes you'll have to do that uh, we did have to do that through this setup uh, run this again over here uh, the second step and then click and then for both of these you should see a green bar and it should be like a loading bar just like you're really like downloading something and it'll do zero to 100 percent it'll take a little longer and then for step three you're going to want to copy and paste as well the sudo copy and then paste it's accidentally about to highlight things whoops copy and paste and then we're going to see the active status running here okay if you get non-active not running etc you're going to want to then run this line of code before anything else but if you're active you're good to go skip that line okay we'll go to step four step four again highlight and copy and paste and you might still have this open if it says lines in click Q before you copy and paste over. Okay. You're going to want Ubuntu IP in there. And then that line with the dollar sign, that's where you can input code. Okay. So then paste that over. It's going to do some more loading and processing and it worked this time, which is freaking awesome. Cause last time it did not work. It was giving me a four or three error, but the galley games support team just fixed that on uh, discord chat. So again, reach out to discord. I'll put that link down in the comments below in case you run into any issues and you should download a file named Gala node uh, v dot 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 for the file version itself. And right here, this gets a little different. We're gonna to wanna to copy and paste this over as well, but we're gonna actually wanna put the number in here, guys. So the best way you can do this is you can actually uh, edit it before in like notepad and then copy and paste it over, or you can hit the arrow keys and just make sure you delete out 
the brackets and so on and you want it to look just like it looks right above here okay and so then once you have it looking exactly the same as above for your file version that you're running the latest version then you hit enter okay and for step six you want to copy and paste this over after hit enter once again and then it's saying hey do you accept the end user license agreement well we have to so <laughs> if you don't then you're not going to be setting it up and updating it and you can't participate but if you do accept it press y then enter and then we make our way down to step seven so then here it gets a little tricky again you're going to want the space between this highlighted bold black uh words right here and the api key Okay, and then I'll show you where to get the API key so you can copy the first part over if you want. And then you're gonna wanna navigate back to the dashboard tab in your browser, click down to API key and click generate API key. And then there's gonna be like a little double paper icon to the left of the API key. Click that, cause that'll allow you to copy it and it won't give you any extra spaces. Sometimes that can cause issues. Also just to note, it doesn't matter what you name your API key, but once you have it in there with the space between the last bit of code and your API keys digits, such as this example right here, then you just wanna click enter, okay? Then it should tell you that your API key has saved successfully in the next line of code below. And then for step eight, you're gonna run and run this code right here. And in step nine, we're actually gonna to wanna to choose the workloads we wanna run. So if you have multiple different founders nodes or Gala nodes or music nodes, you're gonna to wanna to create a space between each one like this. So you're gonna run and run this code line right here and then no parentheses, and so the example is like this, okay? So if you had a founders and player and town star, you'd wanna run it just like that. And make sure you don't do any plurals like player, don't do players, cause I did that on one setup and it was erroring it out. So make sure it's exactly how these are configured up here. And there's an example of all the workloads available that you can choose from. And once you're done, just click enter. It should then say successfully set up the workload. For step 10, you just wanna simply copy and paste this over is the run command to start the Gala node software itself and then hit enter. At the end, you should get something like this, creating namespace Gala user, Gala user, Gala node does not exist, creating Gala node created. And then once you're that part, you just wanna come through and check on its status. If you just clicked it, it's just still starting. So there are some notes down here below. It may take about 10 minutes to reflect on the node dashboard itself, which also then would reflect over to your Gala Games account if you view it there through Gala node or node info. Um, so you just have to give it a little bit of time to confirm that it is running. But after about a couple minutes and whatnot, just keep copy and pasting over this uh, pseudo Gala node status and hitting enter in there, it should say it's activated. If this stuff above over here errors out, it goes info, 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 and then it's just like warning or goes in red, just simply exit out of this and you restart the process from the very beginning. And I know that sounds a little tedious, but when you're doing a fresh restart from the setup process, it's the best way to just kind of debug this whole thing and just get it to work, okay? Pay attention to extra different little spaces you might put in, things like that. When you're copying, pasting these things over, try to make sure you're not accidentally copying and pasting too much. Um, those are just a little bit of tidbits that sometimes do cause some of these errors. And sometimes these are just server side and uh, on the Gala node side where they're experiencing a couple of different bugs. Last but not least, once you confirm that it is running, you can run sudo Gala node rename and then you can type in your name here in these brackets uh, to name your node whichever way you want it to name so if you have multiple different nodes uh, if you're running these as part of like a family you can name them you know each of your family members and so on and so they'll pop up in the node dashboard with your names on them so that's just a cool little tip or trick so guys that is a wrap on how you upgrade from version 2 to version 3 to maintain your gala distribution rewards and keep your node up to date there are going to be more updates that come out about this this methodology was about the linux servers using them through amazon web services a cloud computing service if you run it through another cloud computing services such as upcloud etc as long as you have that terminal you should be able to update it if you're using a ubuntu linux server style so i hope that's helpful for you if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down in the comment section below let me know if that helped you let me know if it didn't i'll try to help troubleshoot with you and direct you towards some more resources to hopefully get you on your way until next time guys like i always like to say i forgot my mug today coffee's on me peace Whew. took a while I ran into a lot of errors and I uh, had to restart that like six times. <laughs> oh, well, we got it done. Take care, guys.